Hey guys, let's talk about various ways how you can search Google to save your time and be more productive. Number one, this is a unique trick that could be used practically by everyone if they knew it existed. Let's say you have a favorite website, it can be anything. However, that website is getting a little bit boring to you now and you want to find other websites like it. You would use this trick. Here's how it looks. Related colon Amazon dot com. If you search that above, you won't find a link to Amazon. Instead, you will find search results with links to online stores similar to Amazon. Isn't that cool? Okay, coming to the number two. Searching for a range of numbers is another tip we don't anticipate a lot of people using it. Those people that do use it, though, will probably use it quite a bit. People interested in money or statistics will find this tip particularly useful. Basically, you use two dots, a number, to let Google know that you're looking for a specific range of numbers. For example, if you search for movies released in 2005 to 2008, it will list the results in movies released in 2005, 2006, 2007 and 2008, basically giving you results in the range of 2005 to 2008. This range can be any number though. I know students would like to use this trick. Number three, when searching for something specific, try using quotes to minimize this guesswork for Google search. When you put your search parameters in quotes, it tells the search engine to search for the whole phrase. For example, if you search for rainbow puppies, the results would contain the exact phrase. Number four, sometimes you may find yourself searching for something. You don't want a certain phrase to appear in your search results. An example, top spices. If you want to cut the word turmeric from the search results, use the hyphen to tell Google to ignore any content with the word turmeric. Number five, there may be an instance where you need to Google search for articles or content on a certain website. For example, if you want to search for gold, but only want to see results from the website Wikipedia, you can type it like this with use of a colon and the name of the website after that. For example, gold site colon wikipedia dot Come. Number six, the last one that we will be discussing. The asterisk wildcard is one of the most useful ones on the list. Here's how it works. When you see an asterisk in, in a search term on Google search, it will leave a placeholder that will be automatically filled by the search engine later. This is a brilliant way to find song lyrics if you don't know all the words. Let's look at the syntax. Come, asterisk, right now, asterisk, me. Okay, to you or me, that may look like nonsense. However, Google search will search for that phrase, knowing that the asterisk can be any word. That was it from my side, guys. If you find this video useful, please like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.